Hi Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the time period of February 2018. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, just check the description box below. There's a link and all the information you need. You can reach me directly on the Instant Go app or just uh, go to my website, moonpytarot.com. You can book a reading there. The readings generally take up to a week to deliver, so please be aware of that before making your uh, booking your appointment with me. Okay, um, and the day that you book is not the day you receive your reading. Okay, so uh, you guys can follow me if you like. Please do on Instagram. I put up weekly readings there that are separate from these, and Twitter and Facebook. Okay, under Moon Pie Tarot. So I'm going to pull from the Romance Angel Oracle deck here, the overall love energy for you for February. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. And also to tell you that um, I'm using the C Crystal Visions Tarot deck for the reading this month. Okay, so what are the energies for Capricorn? You need to let go of control issues. That's the overall energy for this time period. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay? So we'll leave that here. See how it ties into the rest of your reading. What are the energies for Capricorn for February 2018 for love? Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Singles or couples? Please give me the energies for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, February 2018. Okay, you have the Four of Swords, so that kind of ties in with the Let Go of Control issue card, where, you know, you're just, you know, it's time to take a break, take a breather, take a step back from the situation, just, you know, retreat, okay? Um... It's okay to allow yourself to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe you need more sleep or you need rest. Or maybe you need a vacation from something or a situation that's causing you difficulty. Uh, difficulty in getting something new off the ground or getting something, you know, working together with someone. There's, there's a difficulty with teamwork. It's a challenge, okay? trying to get one-on-one -on -one with someone in a partnership because that's what the three of pentacles talks about um you know it, it brings this energy of um, working together um and i feel like even though it's in the upright and even though there is some type of a you know a connection with someone um and it is a benefit for you to, to find a way to work together, to work out differences or whatever it may be. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit of an obstacle to get to that point. So you may need to just pull back your energy for February. Just let it go. Uh, let the situation just unfold in the most natural possible way. Okay. Um, because it will take on a life of its own, really, without your control. Um, and, and I think you would appreciate that more than having to manipulate a situation. Now, what's at the root of your reading is the Knight of Wands. And this is an energy that comes through. Um, some of you may need to uh, maybe... You may want to charge in the direction of another person to try to persuade them to see something your way or to go in your direction or to to be pr to see that that you're present you're here you're 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 positive you're you're compassionate you're passionate you're moving forward <coughs> you know that's what's driving you but you i feel like you're almost being forced now to retreat though so it's it's very conflicting for you because you want to press forward and you're having to not 
do that. You're having to stop what you're doing. You're having to pull back your energy and it's frustrating you. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. You know, I see you very passionate. You have lots of ideas. Okay. Some of you, I feel like, are just, you know, you could have someone coming in. If you're single, who uh, is, you know, just trying to hit it and quit it. <laughs> um, you could be thinking about that person. You know, this would be someone much younger. Um, kind of like, you know, that that drives your energy. Like maybe you desire to be with this person, but you have to pull back because they're not really like meeting you halfway so to speak or they may not be meaning you halfway your past position is the page of swords so this is an energy of someone that could have been gossip or someone spying maybe you were spying on someone or keeping your eyes on someone or there was just this this truthful truth truth messages coming through in the past which you know maybe someone was trying to connect with you and um, it was difficult to connect. Um, <laughs> or it becomes difficult to connect because there's this retreating energy. Someone's pulled out. Someone pulled away. Someone pulled back. And you want to charge in that direction, but you can't because they're not there. Because they're, you know, oh, they're in a coma. I don't know. They're sleeping. They're disappeared. Right? They ghosted you. For some of you. You know, they just kind of like... Disappeared. Took off. For now. For February. Okay? Um, and so you can't... You can't make something work with them. It's too difficult. You can't make something work with someone that's not there. Okay? Um, and you want to. You're trying. Um, you've got the two of cups here, so there is a connection with someone. You're, you know, when you think about this person, you're just like, oh, we are like on the same page all the time. The two of cups is not so much the lovers, but it is romantic love, partnership, marriage, proposal. Um, it also comes through as, you know, um, it could be a sexual attraction between you and the, the other person, another person. Um, also comes through as, um, you know, just like two people that, you know, um, have a common bond, you and the other person. You, you, when you think about this person, you, this is your other half. Okay. Um, you know, and you think too about, you know, if maybe you said something in the past that was harsh or gave them some truth and they retreated, and are not um, coming forward to try to make it work with you. You know, you want them to and you want to rush toward them. But you may also be thinking about maybe you need a truce. Or maybe there needs to be forgiveness. Right? A sharing of the emotions. Um, so your near future position... For those of you who are single, you know, that energy is, you know, you could have had sudden harsh messages with, with someone that you want to connect with. It's the same, you know, but they have kind of like, they all kind of disappear. You may have had some kind of argument with someone that you met in the recent past and they just kind of like ghosted you a little bit and so can't get it off the ground and you're wanting them to because you feel that connection with them, but you know either either side of the coin it's the same message that's coming through now you have the queen of cups coming in the near future so this is an energy of someone who is very emotionally stable you know she's very nurturing you may need to seek help or support 
from um, a friend, a water sign, could be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or any sign, any female who is, um, you know, she, em she embodies this healing energy. Um, you know, how she's got, she's all about the water, man. <laughs> She's all about the water. She she goes through this this thing where she just she's very empathetic. You know, like even some may say an empath. Um, she's a caregiver. Everybody loves her. She's always honest and fair. She's warm and loving. This could be uh, if you're male. This could be your spouse, your wife. That maybe you were not very nice to and she retreated but then she she comes back up towards going towards the end uh, uh near the end of february she comes back out of her hideaway you know um she's also a compassionate mother as well she comes across as that so this is someone that you do have a deep connection to it doesn't have to be a water sign but <clears throat> she's very sensitive you know and she's a healer she's she's always trying to help okay so if there was some kind of an argument of some sort that may have happened in the past you realize that you are very connected to someone connected either to her or uh, connected to anyone and you need her in your life to help you in some way she will make herself present. She will help relieve you of your anxieties so that you can sleep. Just maybe good conversation, you know, uh, to help get you to the end of if you feel betrayed or you feel hurt. She's also someone that if this is your spouse that you were not very nice to um, in the past and now she comes out of hiding, she may express to you that she's just, you cause her a lot of anxiety and you need to stop need to stop being a jerk okay um, and start working with her on the same level you know and and you know to stop charging in and out as if like you've got control of everything and, and she feels it's immature if you're a Capricorn male um, and if you're single you know this is your friend your friend trying to help you with something that you're having difficulty in in a relationship just being there for you now in the position of you your advice you need to just jump right off that cliff don't stop thinking don't think about things don't make it worse have your conversation have someone help you uh, talk to your spouse okay and take a chance take a chance on something that needs to be dealt with whatever kind of an issue or argument or whatever may have happened change your viewpoint get some new fresh hope right um, start have a new beginning try aim for a new beginning in this situation or this relationship or within yourself try to have a fresh outlook perspective okay maybe even take a trip or travel just uh, go for a drive. Just try to, like, you know, get yourself out of your worries. If you're trying to control something, you know, um, it's time to let go. And that's what the full card is about letting go. Right? So, how the other person is viewing you? The Ace of Swords. They view you as someone who, with the Nine of Pentacles, self reliant, self sufficient. I'm going to hold these up because the camera's blurry. Self-reliant, self-sufficient. Um, you know, someone who uh, <laughs> takes care of herself or himself. Doesn't mind being... Well, you know, it's not that this person doesn't mind being, you know, if, if you're single. If you're single. They, they don't view you that you mind being single, but they view you that you're capable <laughs> and that when you communicate, you always try to find a solution to problems. This is how they view you. It's how they see you. With the Ace of Swords. You know, you always have 
uh, new ideas, new ideas for jobs, how to overcome conflicts, mental clarity. You know, you have Capricorn, the ability to, to give this to people, to help straighten people out <laughs> in some way, whatever it is, whatever it is that you do. You're a good listener, and you're, you're very practical and sensible. You know, and that this is how this other person views you. And if you're dealing with a water sign, you know, they 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 deal in the emotions, but you uh, you deal in truth and facts, things that are solid. That's what earth signs are all about, you know. And you're good with money, things like that. You like to help businesses, things like that. You know, so your partner views you in a very practical, like they, they see you very practically you know um and your friend sees that about you as well if you're single okay now for some of you this could be a male cups this could be a pisces cancer scorpio male coming in for you uh, but i feel like if this is someone new they're just you know they're gonna stress you out a little bit they cause a little bit of stress you know because they, they may be way too emotional for you. And there's difficulty understanding. It's not that you can't understand each other. It's just that it's a challenge, you know, to come together. And uh, it will be a challenge to kind of make this situation work. Um, especially if they're, they always have this energy of hiding all the time. You know, especially if they, you know, they pull back a lot because they have a lot of fears and they're very sensitive. So for some of you, that could be the issue if you're single. Um, you're, you can be a little harsh sometimes, so be careful with your words. Try to, uh, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, don't be too hard with them. They literally will disappear on you if you are, you know, <sighs> very hurtful with your words they just they don't understand that they just don't and i know some of you're going to cross watch and say yeah well uh or not cross watch some capricorn say well i've been involved with the water sign and they're the worst well they're the worst probably because they're so sensitive um uh, trust me i was married to a pisces i know <laughs> very sensitive so your hopes and fears judgment so of course you're hoping for an outcome you're hoping for clarity on this situation. You're hoping for like a final decision or maybe for this person to just, you know, try to make, try to meet you halfway here, which you may feel like they're not or they're being too aggressive or just wanting it to have their way, even if that means disappearing. Um, but, you know, you're looking for the wake of call and you want to know what is your purpose in this relationship to this person this is what you want to know why are you here why am i here those are the questions you're answering you're asking and trying to get answered okay um and you're you're fearing as well that you're not going to get it you're fearing that as well um you're fearing that there's someone in your life that could be so so crazily emotional uh, that they're always in a constant state of anxiety, you know, that they're, they always have, they got some deep-seated things going on. Their emotions affect them mentally, you know, and this can also be you sometimes, right? But you're trying to find your purpose. Like, what's, what's the point? Why am I here? Why are you here? Why are we together? Why did we meet? What is our goal? What is our plan? You just, you think like a Capricorn. What are we doing here? Why are we, you know, it's funny, as an earth sign, why are we in this if we're not going to produce something? <laughs> it's very, you know, pragmatic. That's been my word for the month. But the thing is, you know, sometimes people are just in relationships not to produce anything but just love. Sometimes they just want to feel, just feel the good vibes, you know. Not everybody wants to turn it into like a business, you know where you have to approach it like a business some people just you know some people absolutely just enjoy the experience and the the emotions and the feeling and if you're dealing with a water sign that's what they have going on and that might be just so confusing to you you know because you think in steps 
you've got that scientific approach you've got that you know analytical approach of okay we've established that we like each other now we're going to turn to a relationship and buy a house and get a car start a business what are we doing you're very you know <laughs> on the level with relationships and i believe water signs although they do enjoy that they're more when can we see each other again and snuggle <laughs> that's more important to them <laughs> you know um they they move when they feel the need to have it they don't move because it's part of the succession of things that's just how it goes so um if you're not dealing with a water sign, wh whatever the person is that you're dealing with, you know, uh, I just feel like it's really just about you taking a look at what the way you are with them. You know, like I said, you could be dealing with someone that's got some mental stuff going on and it's a little difficult for you guys to meet halfway or to connect, even though you want to grab them by the throat and drag them to wherever you're going because you know it's best and you know it's right and you're logical and you can think that through but they're not going to do that because they're pulling away okay and when they do come back you know they're still dealing with this okay so you may need to just let go of trying to control the situation and just enjoy the connection that you both have if you, if you need to let them have their way let them have their way you know because uh, clearly there was some type of thing happening in the past here where there's some kind of arguing or you know something not not nice messages going back and forth truthful but not nice so your outcome position You have the hangman, again, letting go of control issues, and the king of cups. So some of you are dealing with a water sign. This can also be the sign of Libra. The hangman is a card about accepting your, your circumstance and gaining a new perspective on the situation. It may be something that you need to look at, you know. Maybe what has worked in the past for you will not work with this person because you're not dealing with the same type of energy. So the hangman talks about, really, look, did you ever hang up s upside down from a tree? The whole world looks different upside down. That's called gaining a new perspective. Not being stuck in, you know, that energy of things got to be a certain way in order to, for this, that, and the other to work, you know? Sometimes maybe you just need to come about it from a place of love. Not that you're not loving, but you're, you're, you're an earth sign, so you're more grounded. You don't really come from your emotions. You come from your, the practicality. You come from the earth. So you could be dealing with a water sign, as I was saying. This person will be significant. This person's also very patient and accepting. And water signs definitely have unique perspectives. <laughs> we could all, we all have water in us somewhere. And so... You know, tap into that in your natal chart where water lies with you and play up on that. I read an interesting article the other day about your north node and your south node. Your south node, whatever um, sign your south node is in, that's what you always do. The sign that your north node is, that's the challenge. And that's what you have to overcome. You know, it's like saying if you're great in English, terrible in math, you need to practice more English, right? I mean, practice more math. So it's the same thing. So gaining that new perspective and maybe taking that new perspective of that King of Cups as well, right? I feel like male or female, um, this, this, whoever this person is, is going to be significant in order to help you and here's Queen of Ke Pentacles, it's you. It's going to help you gain clarity on wha where they are and what they've been dealing with. And coming also to clarity and understanding of the purpose of this relationship. If, if you haven't already figured it out. Okay. 
So, um, you know, even if this is someone new coming in, where you've just been retreating from trying to make anything work in your love life at all, even though you want it, and even though you may have been dealing with people that have just been coming in, having sex with you and leaving, you know, and, and that maybe that got disheartening for you to some degree, you may meet someone very nice who just has some issues that you may be able to help them with, but you can't control. And I feel like a great friendship forming and possibly more, or they're already, you know, if you're single, a new friendship forming with a male or a female, um, and a learning, spiritual growth and learning experience with this person, okay? And like a bonding. This person, I feel like, is changing you in some way. In some, some small way is turning you around in your views because they are so unique and you're not used to that and you but you're willing and you're open to see that about them and that's making you reconsider certain things your viewpoint about certain about relationships and about love and things like that and realizing realizing things about yourself as well it's really beautiful whoever this person is that comes in you have the ability to be a healer for that person as well to heal their anxieties you know, and I feel like the two of you will come together at the end of the month with a new plan or a new idea or something, uh, a new view and how to um, maybe further something along a relationship or a, a current relationship or something new. This is self-sacrificing and wisdom type energy coming out of here. So I, I love it. I love it. Capricorn, your reading is great. Again, if you want a personal reading, check the description box below. And I will see you guys in March. Thank you.